हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बेस्ट जीआईएस ट्यूटोरियल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड टुडे लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू हाउ टू विजुलाइज ग्राउंड वाटर एक्विफर सरफेस यूजिंग जीआईएस सॉफ्टवेयर एंड आर्क सीन सो इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल देन गो टू माय चैनल एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज सो आई शो यू द attribute table of the data i have multiple depth of aquifer so you can see here an attribute data now we will visualize that in rjs and then i will show you in 3d in arc scene so first go to rjs software in rjs software you can see i have just a digital elevation model of study area and have aquifer data now go to our toolbox and go to special analysis tool and go to interpolation idw and put the data and put the z value depth one now go to environment and processing extent same as study area and go to raster analysis same study area Now click on OK, and also that OK. And wait for that. Now here you can see that we create first layer. So give a name it layer one. Go to properties, and go to symbology. and stretched give color okay now here you can see that we create layer 1 now again go to our toolbox and create a layer 2 now select Z value depth two and go to environment processing extent again same as study area raster analysis okay. and click on okay and wait for results now get the name at layer 2 and also go to properties of that stretch it and give a different color Okay. Now create the third layer. By the same procedure, we create six layer because we have six depth values. Layer three, depth layer three, and environment. Processing extent. Select same study area. Okay. Rename it as a layer three. Okay. 
go to properties stretch transfer okay create fourth one input data depth 5 environment Okay, again okay, wait for the results, now rename it as a layer 5, go to properties, stretch it, and change the color okay now create the last one in depth 6 environment processing extent same as the study area raster analysis select same study area ok ok now we create a 6 layer because we have a 6 depth values rename it layer 6 And go to properties, stretch it, now you can see that we create a 6 layer of groundwater aquifer from the data, now go to arc scene and open arc scene from here and wait for that now arc scene is open so go to GIS and copy these all layer from here copy it and arc scene paste here this is the digital elevation now copy all layer then copy the last layer and also copy point data of aquifer wells data paste it now you can see that in 3d so add a layer now go to properties of dam and go to base height and click on floating on custom surface and here select the value so here you can see that change it now add this value 
go to properties of layer 1 go to base height select floating and custom and ok now again layer 2 layer 3 layer 4 you can see that now click on layer 2 floating on surface and change the value click on ok now click on layer 3 floating on surface I can OK. Now click on layer 5 custom floating. Click on OK. Now here last click on that one. You can OK. Now go to the wells locations and the depth of the well. Click on that and go to properties and go to base height and click on floating on custom surface. Change the value accordingly. click on ok now here you can see that we have this point now go to table of content again and go to the wells data double click on it and go to extrusions and check this and here Calculate the value, click on OK and click on apply. Okay, now you can see that the wells locations here you can see that in 3D views. Now here you can see we create this 3D layer in ArcSyn software from the groundwater aquifer data. So I hope that you will learn that how to visualize groundwater aquifer if you have such type of data.